Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So we're going to do a Met Gala recap. And has Nicki Minaj been set up? So it has been revealed that somebody tried to hack into Nicki Minaj's and Juice, her engineer's vault for music. Probably trying to leak some records. And then Station Head had leaked a bunch of Barb's emails. Um, and Station Head put out a statement, said a test email was mistakenly sent today to a small segment of our community with emails visible. We sincerely apologize for the error. Our team has already taken steps to ensure that this does not happen again as the privacy of our community is top priority, okay? With that being said, I did see some fans saying that they were going to sue for their information being leaked, um, but a lot of fans feel like this was to sabotage Nicki Minaj and upset that Nicki Minaj has popularized you know, fans streaming on Station Head, you know, that got popularized because of Nicki Minaj and BTS. Now you see Botch and Bitter, Megan Thee Stallion, and other artists doing it with their fans, okay, to get their streaming numbers up. So, you know, that's why fans feel like it was a sabotaging tactic. So let me know how y'all feel about that. Now, moving on to the Met, Nicki Minaj eats up her look and Marnie, an Italian luxury designer, okay? And I'll be honest with you, Nicki Minaj killed this look. You know, I wasn't expecting her to come out and slay like that. And allegedly, she's also wearing her Pink Friday two nails, okay? Um, she definitely was on theme. The theme was the Garden of Time, and, you know, she killed this look, honestly. I was not expecting her to really slay like this. Even the hair is given. I'm like, who did the hair? This is definitely given Harajuka Barbie, okay? Definitely on brand for Pink Friday 2. Um, so, I give Nicki Minaj a 10 for this look. She killed it. This is her best Met Gala, look, she killed it. This is a 10. She's number one for me for best dress, honestly. No shade. And this is honestly no bias. She's number one for best dress for me. Now, Vogue lists Nicki Minaj as the 2024 Met Gala Garden of the Time theme winner, okay? Um, and other publications also felt like Nicki Minaj was best dress. Other publications like L, Rolling Stone, WWD, The National, um, The Observer, The Deadline, Variety, and WION also have list Nicki Minaj as the best dressed person at the Met Gala for 2024. So congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Nicki really should get into more of her fashion bag when it comes to like the red carpet looks. Now, moving on to Botch and Bitter. Botch and Bitter came dressed in all black, dressed up, going to her own funeral because that career is dead. And um, just like her marriage and, you know, the lack of her career and talent is a chop. Okay? She looked a mess. I mean, goodness gracious, why she got on Barnyard on top of her head? She looked a mess. I mean, goodness gracious. She said that she was giving black rose, but I didn't see no roses. Okay, I see a funeral for her own career. Um, and it looks like she copied Kia with the hairstyle. She looked just like Kia when Kia was on the Queen of Courts or whatever that show she used to do on YouTube. It looked a mess. So this is a chop. Um, come back next year. Not giving what it's supposed to give. Um, I think she was trying to be different, but... It wasn't given. Some fans said that she was trying to be a witch. Okay. Which, you know, that definitely is on brand because she has put, you know, some spells on, you know, Nicki Minaj. But it's given abracadabra in that career and fashion has disappeared.
Now, moving on to the bald head scallywag, she will be receiving donkey of the day, okay? This hoe went to the Met Gala with Lizzo's wet t-shirt. I'm like, why she got this oversized t-shirt for the Met Gala? Looking like an escort that got kicked out of a hotel. She looks a mess. And I knew she was going to go to the Met and do some buffoonery. See, I told y'all in my video a few days ago, I said, she going to go to the Met and look a mess. Okay, I can already tell when she was dressing up like Clown Ye's wife all week in New York. And then she had the audacity to take some pictures with a towel on. Go back to your hotel room, you bald head scallywag. This is a negative 55. She always tries to be weird and quirky and is honestly coming off as annoying. Okay? I hope Doja Cat gets blackballed one day. I really do. She gets on my nerves. Every time I try to give this hoe a chance, she disappoints me even more than she already has. And then on top of that, she did an interview talking about, oh, you know, I wanted to wear cotton and cotton is one of the most popular flowers. Shut the fuck up. That was the dumbest excuse. You looked a mess. Okay, if you want to be a whore and dress up like a whore on the side of the street, do that. But don't do it at the mat. Okay, she looked a mess. She disappointed me like she usually always does. And you're getting donkey of the day. Now, allegedly, people were saying Megan Thee Stallion was scared to go to the mat because she didn't want to run into Nicki Minaj. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, and she still hasn't responded to Bigfoot. But allegedly, that's for her album that's going to be dropping soon. You know, I don't think she was necessarily scared, but she probably didn't want any confrontation. Okay. Um, but I don't think she necessarily was scared. I think Devil Nation probably was like, you can sit this one out. You don't need to go to the Met this year. Okay. And plus, you know, no shade of Megan Thee She's not a fashion girl. She's just not. You know, when you think about fashion and female rap, you're not thinking about Megan Thee Stallion. You're not thinking about Scratch Off or Ice Spice. You know, neither one of them are there because um, they're kind of basic when it comes to the fashion. Oh, and that freestyle she put out was trash. I didn't like it at all. Same flow. Boring. Your flow is such a bore. Megan should just stop doing freestyles because she talk about the same thing in every freestyle. It's getting redundant. But moving on back to the Met. Zendaya, she killed it. I like her look. Um, Zendaya, to me, she's one of the best. We were talking about, you know, fashion icon. She's definitely up there. And she had two looks. This was the first look. I kind of like the second look a little bit better. Okay. But she was on theme. Okay. And she looked amazing. Um, you know, if Zendaya stop acting, she can always model. Because she always gets face and she knows the right poses. So I would give both her looks probably a nine. Okay. Because she was on theme, but I wasn't wild, but she was on theme and she looked good. Okay. You can't say that she didn't because she did. Janelle Monet, she always slays, always looks good. I don't think there's ever been a met where Janelle Monet didn't slay. Okay. Um, I like Tiana Taylor's look, but I feel like she's done it before. I feel like she's definitely done this look before, so I wasn't extremely impressed, but she did look good, okay? I didn't really care for the wig, though. I didn't like the wig like that at all. Now, Kim K is kind of starting to age in the face, but her waist was snatched. I don't know how um, she's able to breathe. I don't know where her ribs are. But her waist was snatched. Um, but she definitely starting to age in the face a little bit. I would give this look a 7. I wasn't crazy about this look. But it wasn't bad, but it wasn't that great. Now, Kylie came dressed for her imaginary wedding. Because um, nobody's going to propose to anybody that's been ran through as much as Kylie. No shade. Um, plus, you got two little ones. So that's a little bit more baggage. But with that being said, um, you know, this look was very boring. Um, I don't understand what this has to do with the theme. You know, she had a flower, you know, in her hair, but this was very basic. I'm like, Kylie, the last few Mets, you've been slacking. You haven't really been giving it 
your all. I kind of feel like you're kind of, you know, being a little bit lackluster. But no shade, um, Kendall nor Kylie are the most popular Kardashians anymore. Um, Kendall was boring too, no shade. Now, the three bottom bussies ain't the Met Gala up. We got Bottom Nas X, Bottom Aldell, and Bad Bunny the Bottom, okay? And they looked good. I give them all 10s. But I don't know if Lil Nas X was on theme, but he did look good. I'm going to give him his 10s because he looked good. But that one flower don't really count, in my opinion. You know, just because you put one flower on your outfit. That doesn't mean that you're on theme, but he looked good. I'll give him his 10s. All of them deserve 10s, to be quite honest. They all looked good. Now, it was reported that Rihanna has skipped the Met Gala after coming down with the flu, people reports. Now, I do remember her saying that she was going to the Met, but allegedly she came down with the flu, which I really don't believe. I think that she was just too lazy to go. That's why she didn't really go to the Met. Um, Because she didn't really want to go in the first place. I remember her saying that her outfit was going to be basic. Which I think influenced the reason why she did not want to go. Because she didn't want to get outdone by Zendaya. Okay. Or anybody else at, you know, the Met. And in the last few years, she has been getting outdone. I mean, the last few years, her outfits haven't really been hitting. But her replacement, Tyla, was at the Met. Um, and this Met Gala look was a mess. You know, Tyla, you were supposed to come harder than this. You were supposed to be replacing Rihanna. And you're not doing a good job at it. I mean, what was this? Was this supposed to be a body shaper outfit? I'm confused. You know, she looked a mess. So I'm going to have to give this a negative 10. I don't understand the hair either. This does not even go with the theme, in my opinion. And, um... Nah, it was okay. Yeah, so a negative 10. Now, speaking of Riri, there has been some reports that Rihanna and Kung Fu Kenny are rumored to be working on new music, um, especially since, you know, Champagne Thickums dissed um, Rihanna and ASAP the Colorist in Family Matters. So allegedly, she's trying to link up with Kung Fu Kenny, who has successfully defeated um, Champagne Thickums and won the rap battle. Now she's trying to link up with him. And they've already done a collaboration called Loyalty, which was on the damn album, which I love. That song is a hit. That song is a classic. That song is a classic. So I would not be mad at them working with each other again, but I doubt Rihanna putting out any music. Rihanna is lazy. Um, she's basically retired. She's not putting out music. And even if she does, it probably would be AI. I don't believe that it actually would be Rihanna. I think she's going to use AI. No shade. Now, moving on to JT. JT earns her first ever solo entry on the Hot 100 with her single, OK. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Now, congratulations to JT. Well-deserved. OK is a good record. But it probably would have went higher on the charts if she had stopped with all the drama. See, the problem with JT is she's so focused with going back and forth with D and C and F listers that she wasn't really, in my opinion, giving this record enough attention. Okay? Um, She did like one or two promo videos, but she needs to focus less on the drama and more on building a good catalog. Okay? Um, so congratulations to JT, but let's focus on the music and less on the drama moving forward for 2024. Now, Lana Del Rey and Queen Ari were also at the Met. Now, I think Lana, she killed her look. Um, Ari, no shade. Her look was a little bit boring. Okay. I'm like, she never stepped out of the box. Queen Ari never does when it comes to the fashion. But I do like Lana Del Rey's look. Her look to me, I would give it a nine. Okay. Um, you know, because I think I see some trees or something on her dress that might symbolize flowers. Okay. But I don't really see much flowers on there. But she does look good. I will say that. I do feel like she somewhat goes with the theme. Um, Ariana Grande, I don't know what. That is just looks like a white 
dress or corset gown. I think that's what that's supposed to be. But mm, it wasn't given what it was supposed to give. No shade. But um, I'm happy that they both attend and they still look good. But I just feel like Queen Ari's was a little bit boring. Now, J. Cole um, allegedly was advised by Schoolboy Q not to join the Kendrick Lamar beef. Okay. And I really think it's because he knew that Kung Fu Kenny got that hot tea on J. Cole. Okay, that could definitely ruin his reputation. That's on Patreon. Um, but I will say that I am going to take back my donkey of the day for J. Cole. You know, that I gave him when he removed his seven-minute drill disc record to Kung Fu Kenny. Okay, and apologize. You know, I think that was a really smart decision. You know, I really didn't think it was going to get this deep, though. I didn't think Kung Fu Kenny was going to come out and annihilate Champagne Thickums and call him a pedo and a deadbeat and talk about his son and his family. I didn't think it was going to get that deep into it. Okay, I didn't think Champagne Thickums was going to, you know, call Kung Fu Kenny an abusive person and, you know, attempt to dig up some more dirt. But that's all he had. But um, I didn't think it was going to get that personal. Okay, I thought it was going to be a lot of surface level stuff. OK, um, so I do think J. Cole made the right decision, but he's still not part of the big three. You know, he has been officially removed out of the big three. But I will take back my donkey of the day um, to him. OK, you know, because I gave him donkey of the day like maybe a month ago. And, you know, it looks like he did make the smart decision because if he got exposed, it would definitely ruin his reputation. Now, here goes the sympathy train by the Baines BBL colonizer. Um, so it has been reported that allegedly at 2 a.m. last night, gunshots went off outside near Champagne Thickum's house in Toronto. Police has the entire block closed off while doing their investigation. And a man was seriously injured in the Brittle Path shootings. OK, so one person was injured. We don't know if it was anybody from OV Hose crew, but, um, you know, I guess somebody was harmed. With that being said, to me, this seems like um, a sympathy train um, for Champagne Thickums because um, Kung Fu Kenny is doing so well on the charts. OK, so I think Champagne Thickums orchestrated this so that way, you know, people can feel sympathy for him. Just like when Megan Thee Stallion lost her beef to Nicki Minaj, um, the next day they said the barbs went to Megan Thee Stallion's mother's gravesite to vandalize, which the barbs never did. Now, Kung Fu Kenny, not like us, is aiming for a number one debut on the Paola Hot 100. And then also, Euphoria has debut at number 11 on the Hot 100 with only three days of tracking, okay? So Kung Fu Kenny is topping the charts, and I think Champagne Thickums is a little bit jealous because this usually would be him. So I think this was a ploy for sympathy, and I don't think Kung Fu Kenny has anything to do with this. I think they're going to try to point the fingers back to Kung Fu Kenny, but I don't think he has anything to do with this. It could have been one of, you know, Champagne Thickum's victims. I mean, there has been proof that he has been a pedo or, you know, very creepy towards underage girls. So it could have been one of his victims. You know, I don't think this has anything to do with Kung Fu Kenny. He is innocent to me. Champagne Thickums ain't fooling me. You know, I think this is a ploy. If the glove don't fit, you must acquit. Word of OJ, RIP. And um, I think that, you know, Champagne Thickums wants the sympathy train. Not only that, Champagne Thickums OVO store in London has been vandalized. Someone spray painted, they not like us, on the front window. This really don't count. I mean, they can just wipe that off, can't they? But the point of the matter is, it seems as though Champagne Thickums is not really about that life. You was talking all that tough talk in your music, but your inch is getting vandalized and then people are shooting outside your crib. Let me see if Chubbs really crashed some. 
What is Chubbs doing? I thought he was your right-hand man. He ain't about that life. You not about that life either, colonizer. I think Champagne Thick Gums needs to move to Arkansas and lay low, okay? Clearly, hip-hop not messing with you right now, so you might want to lay low and move to Arkansas or, you know, Kentucky and just focus on your health and being a good father, okay? It looked like, you know, you going through it right now. But there's even more proof that Kung Fu Kenny won. I told y'all Kung Fu Kenny can't be effed with. He's the king of rap. He has the most influence, and he has taken Champagne Thickums and his botched BBL down, okay? Do I feel bad? No. You was talking on that tough talk in your music, and clearly you're not about it. So anyway, stream Not Like Us. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I got some hot tea on Patreon. Link will be in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.